listen, she's fortunate that went the way it went because unless that's someone she knew, she has no reason to be putting her hands on someone just because they're in your camera shot. Too much nowadays, people have this main character syndrome where they think that just because they deem something as important, everybody else around them is gonna feel the same way. That's not how it works. When I go out, as much as when you go out, no one really cares about what we're doing as long as it doesn't interfere with their lives. And too many times nowadays, because everybody's so interested in getting everything on camera and making everything go viral people think that that makes what they have going on more important what the next person has going on and that's just not how it works <laughs> ladies i need for y'all to ease up off my boy Corey a little bit it was tia that initiated the divorce tia wanted to run to the streets Corey walked into a bakery and got him a sugar cookie now Corey hardrick tia moore's ex-husband has started dating Sources say his female friend is a young blonde lady from Caucasianio de Sitiatius, which Tia is mixed too, unless y'all forgot. <laughs> How hard is it in the dating Ooh, world now? Oh my God. <laughs> what is it like out there for, for, Do for we a have single a woman? shot of tequila? No. <laughs> No, I'm I haven't been single for five years, so I'm, I don't know what this world is like out there. But I know, but from what I see and from what I hear, it is tough. It is very tough, mm -hmm. and it is exhausting. <laughs> like, it's exhausting. I want to throw the towel in. <laughs> Someone had told me, and I was, I, I, I wanted to be like, no, I, I disagree with you, and I don't want to believe it. My last relationship, when dating was, you know, when I was you know, dating this person, it was beautiful. It was amazing. It was wonderful. There was courting that was, you know, involved. Um, and I was saying how I feel like that's no longer, you know, uh, present, meaning like people just don't court each other anymore. And this person was like, well, you know, that's just, that's old news. Like people, people just don't do that anymore. There's just this whole new way of doing things. And I'm like, you mentioned tradition, you know, and I think that's where it kind of, needs to go back to, you know, where, you know, a man is um, courting a woman and, and showing her, you know, how much he appreciates her and wants her and loves her or wants to be with her. They have this mentality right off the bat that there is someone else. Do you know what I mean? Like there, there could be someone else. That is it they're... that they're the prize? <laughs> yes. Yes. We talking deep here. Yes. We about to get into it. Oh my God, that the, that the man is the prize. The man is the prize. Yes. I'm talking loud. Yes. Also, it seems as if men are now just looking at women as objects. Things are so, um, it's like instant gratification. You know what I mean? They just want something like quick, quick and easy and now. Congratulations, you played yourself. And guys, there you have it. And really, a lot of respect goes to Corey Harwick for handling the situation the way he's handling it because Tia Mallory has pretty much been going around using this divorce as an opportunity to keep herself relevant in the public eye, discuss and air her dirty laundry anytime she gets, and talk about how she graduated from marriage but now is, but now can't stand the dating pool. Meanwhile, he's pretty much kept quiet, moved on with his life, chosen to just pretty much continue to do what he needs to do. And go figure, now that he's ready to put himself out there, he's getting with young, attractive fitness influencers and things of that nature. And whether it ends up working out with this woman really isn't the point. The fact of the matter is, when we look at the tail of the tape of these two people, it's clear to see that he's going to be okay. Here you have a man who, according to sources, his net worth is over three million he's over six feet tall he keeps himself in good shape not to mention he's a hollywood actor so he's going to have access to many young beautiful women versus tia who is a 45 years old she's two years older than him actually her image as far as coming out of this divorce isn't really stellar right now the type of inequality of men she's getting if men are even serious about taking her serious aren't going to be the caliber that she probably is looking for most of the time. She herself is worth more. Her net worth is somewhere around $4 million. So the chances that she's going to find a man 
even on the level of her ex-husband, even though she was out earning him, are slim to none. Because men are watching this. Men see the way she handled this situation. And any man who has any sense is going to avoid her like the plague. If I can do for myself, what are you bringing to the table for me? If I have my job together, I have a car, I have a crib, I have a house, I have my own spending bread and stuff like that. The least you can do is just make sure that I'm okay in like aspects that I don't really ask for. So if I'm asking without telling, I feel like that's the way to ask a man for money. I could get my nails done, get my feet done, get whatever I want for myself. Uh -huh. But it's like, all right, besides knowledge, because a lot of men don't have that. What could you bring to the table for me to be like, all right, he's worth the time? If I Correction. A lot of men that she chooses to give her time and energy to don't have knowledge. At least that's how she feels about it. But even beyond that, this is why fathers are so important. When you can only quantify the value a man can bring by if he can pretty much just pay for your nails or pay for your hair, what he can do for you from a materialistic standpoint, you are a lost woman. And even more so, you are not made to be a wife. Should a man care about what his girl wears? Absolutely. What women want to do is solicit attention. So when you wear a promiscuous outfit like that, you are soliciting the attention of other males. No, definitely not. Definitely like, not. I'm going to wear what I want. Because he has no say on our lives. It's Yeah, him. like, we're going to do what we want to do. What he wants. That's it. It's our lives. Yeah. Is your boyfriend here right now? Yeah, he's back he's right there. there. Do you think you should have some say in what your girl wears when going out? Oh. You know what? I'm going to say no to that. You know what? Oh, she, she does what she it. wants to do. Smells like bitch in here. Oh, there's the bitch. If his girlfriend is not here, I'm telling you, there's a completely different answer to that question. That's all I know. You gotta let your girl trust your shit. You can't police that. She does her own thing. But if I'm not here, his answer would be different. You know the crazy thing about that entire question is the fact that, in general, men are pretty liberal today as far as what they're comfortable with their woman wearing what they would be like that's okay i don't I'm, i don't have a problem with that especially when you think about what was allowed you know 10 20 30 40 50 years ago and even more so when you compare it to other countries and cultures that just have different societal norms because in america it's been an emphasis on making sure women's voices are heard men have been kind of programmed to make sure that they allow women to you know be who they want to be There's a lot of guys just out of fear of not being seen a certain way as they're oppressing women and holding them back. But even with all that, you have women who have this kind of mindset that don't even consider the man that they're in a relationship with, that they're supposed to actually care about and have genuine feelings for. Because somehow, if they actually take his opinion into thought, that's him oppressing her. The reality is a woman who cares about a man, who cares about his feelings, who actually considers what he's thinking and what he might have to say, She's going to go to him first. She's going to consider what he has to say above anybody else besides perhaps maybe what she was thinking because that is supposed to be the person that she's trying to make sure she keeps her look up for. But what you can see happening sometimes is women who start to devalue that man's opinion because they start to get so used to what he thinks. And as a result, they'll start seeking validation outside of the relationship in order to boost their ego and reassure themselves about things they aren't so quite sure about on their own. All right, guys, we got to get to this clip. <laughs> Jada Pinkett Smith back in the news and uh, for all the wrong reasons and <laughs> embarrassing Will again. And unfortunately for him, it seems like she's the woman who won't go away and just keeps on just dragging his name through the mud and seems so crazy because it wasn't that long ago where, you know, Will Smith was like, you know, top actor. Men had a tremendous amount of respect for him and what he did as a rapper going into the film industry. And, and women found him attractive because he was smooth. He was a funny guy, at least on the television show. He had that. That's what his Hollywood image was. And to say that it's been tarnished would be putting it very lightly. But something I always tell you guys is that you have to know when to walk away. You can't be so caught up in a woman's beauty. You can't be so caught up in not losing that woman that you ignore red flags. And, it's, and it seems that Jada's red flags were there very early on in the relationship. I had a run in. Yeah, like wasn't you? Yeah. Todd, you try, yeah, yeah. You try to put his wife in a lip yeah, lock. Yeah, yeah, 
Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't find out that for 15 years because he never told me that. See, he came into the he came into the trailer and I was sitting down, right? He's standing over me like this. And he's like, I don't appreciate that, man. I don't appreciate that. And I'm like, well, what you talking about? I always know to play it off. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's tone. Well, I'm sitting down. So, hold on. This was 15 years later? Or was it? No, this was then. Yeah, and then okay. I didn't find out why. Right, okay, okay. I was asking okay. him why then, but he right. wouldn't say nothing. Right. Right. And I'm going, what's going on, man? Tell me what's happening, man. And since he was standing yeah. and I was sitting, I'm a real nice fella. Ah! That, I mean, that, that's, that's about physics, right? right? Right, right, So I'm like, you know, oh, man, what's going on, man? I mean, hey, man. He's like, I don't appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? And Jada's going, Will, Will, I'm saying, but um, I mean, what, what's happening, man? Now, yeah. you tell me what's happening. Hmm? Hmm? You know when a dude does yeah. this. But hmm? He about to bottom hmm? lip. Hmm? He about to do something bad. He might do something, something right? Some, uh, so I'm like, you know. I did the I did the whole. You remember the snake? Yeah, yeah. I did the snake. Well, well, what you know? And got up. Right. And then I was like, you know, so what are you talking about, man? And I was still in that posture. So you didn't really know what he was actually talking I about. I didn't, but I know what he was doing. Right. So I was like, come on, man. I mean, what's up? Just tell me what's up. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know what's up. You know what's up. So finally, I just said, this is a small place, and people are here. You want? We should talk about it. Right. Me and you outside, because it looked right. like you're gonna need to get something. Off your chest, right? And then Jada was like, oh, no, no, no. No, no, y'all. No, y'all. And I was like, what do you mean, no, nah, y'all? <laughs> Tell him. <laughs> Whoa. Tell him. And that was the end of that. Right. You see? Right. And I never knew. It wasn't until my book came out. Right. Years later. Damn, so Will been getting pretty much dogged out since the 90s. But the only reason I bring this up, because who cares? This is this man's life. All the choices he has made has been as a grown man who has chose to, to deal with this woman in whatever capacity that he's chosen to do so. But the reason why I bring this up is to bring it back around to you guys. And this is why I say, and I've never been the type, and I hope that you guys have never been the type, to not pedestalize these celebrities. When, when you see things where people are talking about Jay and Beyonce goes or Will and Jada goes or whoever is the it couple at that time. To me, that never made sense because you don't know what they're going through personally. These people who have absurd amounts of money also have publicists, also have marketing teams, also have people who can create an image of what they want the public to be able to see. Unfortunately, because of the rise of social media nowadays that have kind of give us more of a glimpse into people's personal lives, so sometimes these celebrities have been caught putting their foot in their mouths and in doing so, end up ruining that image that they had created. Anyway, guys, as always, questions, comments, thoughts, and feedback, go ahead and drop them down below. I appreciate every time you guys take the time to chime in, share your perspective. Don't forget, you can support this channel by hitting that like and subscribe button. And as always, until next time.